Saturday morning. It's uh, five past ten and I haven't had my breakfast yet but I've been up since about nine, I'm just about to have my breakfast. Um, but it's going to rain all day, or well, that's what the weather people have said, it's going to rain all day. Um, I had, didn't get my compost yesterday for my new twirly trees so I can't plant them anyway. Um, it's not raining at the minute though but they said it was going to rain all day. It's just a bit gloomy as you can see. So I'm not sure what the plan is today, my hubby's gone working. Um, so he's going to be gone all day. James is working this morning and then he's working at his other little job later. So it's mainly just me and Ruby and then we've got to drop James off later at his other job. So not quite sure what we're doing but anyway, we'll take you with us. Wow, so far this morning I'm just looking through some of my old magazines and then the ones I don't want we're going to go and donate them to one of our local little libraries because they use them for coffee mornings so I'm just double checking there's nothing I want to keep in these magazines and then we're going to take these in a bit. Oh, I've just seen this in my magazine and it says it's from Sainsbury's and I love it so much but I've been on Sainsbury's website and it's not showing so I don't actually know how you can get one but it's a little table. I love it so much. I wanted to see how high it was because I thought maybe I could have it in my sitting room. It's so quirky. I love it so much. So if anybody's seen one in their Sainsbury's branch, please let me know. I've decided I'm going to do some sewing this afternoon. Um, but I've seen this. I think it's really lovely. Obviously, I have got a little handbag pillow already in one of my bags. But I actually thought I might make myself one. I presume this one's done in like velvet uh, with a cute little bumblebee logo thing. So I thought I could do some of these for my bags and I could maybe even put some lavender in mine to make them smell nice. So when you're not using your handbags, it would be lovely. Right, before we do anything else, we really need to do a bit of washing up, empty the dishwasher and then we can kind of get on with what we want to do. So strange, this has been made by my friend. I need this for my dolls. Yeah, my friend makes these and uh, I found it in the shop. That's so funny. Super monkey. Thank <laughs> you. 
My favorite magazines out. We're back in the car. It's raining. What a blooming horrible day, isn't it, Ruby? And I've got a hospital. So we've just been to the supermarket again and they're giving us another box that Ruby's going to make into a doll's house. A doll's house hospital this time. But it won't fit in my little car, so we've got to come back for it later, haven't we? Yay. So we need to go home now. It's 25 past 12. Go home and get some dinner. We're home. Oh. And there's my little dinner. So I've got um, mackerel in olive oil, little tomatoes and seafood sticks. Mug of the day is I love shopping. And then I can't wait to show you what I bought from the charity shop. It's so romantic. So I just eat my dinner and then I'll show you. Right, I've been on the phone to my mum for an hour. So um, I've been missed about talking to my mother. Right, so what did I buy? It's all so interesting. So I bought, I don't know why I bought this, but I bought it. Um, this gorgeous Kangol, if my little device will pick it up, Kangol little hat. Um, I just absolutely loved this. I thought it was so bloody fabulous. I'm not going anywhere. I've got nowhere to wear it. Um, but I thought when it was on, I just love it so much. It's so smart and just so, oh, so fabulous. So if you're having a wedding, <laughs> you'd like me to come, just let me know. <laughs> I just come and wave you in the church, that's all. <laughs> or a christening or a big fancy party. I just loved it and I thought I'm just going to keep it at home somewhere and if I ever get invited somewhere fancy then obviously I've got it to wear. I love it, I love it so much. So I bought that um, and I also bought from the shop around the corner. This wasn't the cherry shop, this was the shop around the corner. The latest Vogue book because it was only £2. I love Vogue magazine, especially when it's two pound. I bought Hello Fashion magazine, but it was a double one, so it was Hello as well, which has got the Queen and stuff in it. And then, but I only bought it for this Hello Fashion. They didn't have the Hello Fashion on its own, so and I love to read it, so I thought, oh, I'll just buy the one with them both in. I bought a pair of lovely high-waisted shorts when we ever get a bit of sunshine. At the moment, we've actually got the heating on because it is so cold. Um, they're from Next and they're high waisted ones and I think they'll be lovely, especially this pale pink will be really nice with my little pink Gucci belt. Um, I got this, I've no idea why I bought this, but I just loved it because it was like three little pouches in one. Um, it's Estee Lauder and it's like three makeup bags and they're all on one um, like clip so you can take them off and use them separately or you can leave them on the wrist strap. And you could go out with three bags with you, which I probably would do knowing me. So I really liked that. It was so quirky. I love that all the different sizes. I love the wrist strap. What do we think of that? It's so cool, isn't it? And then I bought a lottery ticket for tonight. A bit of fabric that I thought I might make one of um, those little cushions for my handbags. Those little, um, oh God, I can't even get my words out. One of those little cushions to fill your bag out when you're not using it but i thought this fabric was really quirky um it was only a pound and there's quite a lot of fabric on it so i thought i can make a nice couple of cushions for the inside of my little bags i got this little bit of fabric it's only a teeny tiny bit but i thought it'd be nice to make a little hen out of it because the color is so nice and then i bought this this is what i think is really really interesting Right, are you ready? In fact, I think I need to turn my camera around. Hang on. Oh, we're ready. Right, in this box is a little vintage set look from the 1950s. It's from W. Hines Jewelers, which I've done a bit of research. And W. Hines Jewelers was the original name of F. Hines, which is on the high street nowadays. Um, so it's quite a really, really old company. It came with this lovely little note which says, A Merry Christmas with all my love. I think it says Harvey. We didn't know if it said Harry or Harvey. I'm not quite sure. And look at the date, the 25th of December, it'd be 1956. And it is the most beautiful. I just love it so much. I love the history. And I just, oh, I tried it on and it was so beautiful. I love the fact that somebody has treasured this beautiful necklace. So there's the necklace 
Um, there's clip-on earrings and they actually sit going up your ear. They're so pretty. And then there's also a beautiful brooch as well. Oh, look. And look how they shine. I mean, there's no spotlights on, nothing. Um, there's no sunshine. So you imagine when the actual sun hits this necklace. Don't look at my scruffy table. It's supposed to be scratched. It's the fashion. <laughs> but look at the necklace. Oh. It's so lovely. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask my hubby Lee to give me £30 and he can give me this set for my birthday and then I'm going to ask him to write a little note and I will also keep the little note in this box as well with the original note and I just think it's so romantic and so sweet. What do we think? Oh, or is it just me being daft? But I just think it's bloody lovely. I'm going to treasure this set forever. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe it's from the 1950s. It's in such good condition. It's so lovely and so special. Mm. You don't very often find stuff like this in charity shops. Or if you do, it doesn't normally come with, you know, sort of a little note. Oh, it's just so lovely. But also so sad that it was somebody's family and it ended up in a charity shop. But that was what I bought. <sighs> right, we've all made it into the car. Off to my little vintage shirt. Uh, fine. Right, so we're in the car. I've got to drop James for work. Ruby's been squashed in the back. Where have we gone, Ruby? Ruby. <laughs> right, so we need to get James to work. Now that's little James all dropped off. He's there at 11 o'clock tonight, bless him. So we're going to go home now and have a nice cup of coffee. We're home. Guess what we've got on the radio? Got a Love a bit of Rick Astley. There's my nice cup of coffee. Woo. I've made a little chicken. So this little chicken is about to go in my Depop shop. It's even got like a little pearl, a lucky little pearl on the front. I was quite tempted to keep her myself, but I'm not. I'm going to put her on my little shop. So she's going to the shop in a minute. And then Ruby and Rick will be fetched um, Ruby's new box that we're going to turn into a doll's hospital. And it's a Skittles hospital. I told you it's Skittles. Mm. Can you find a Ruby? <laughs> Ruby's decided to, to be a box. <laughs> so we've built the doll's house. Dun, 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 dun. And Ruby's going to make a big sign saying Ruby's hospital or something on the top, aren't you? That's your next job. Ooh, I've rustled up my tea. So we've got jacket potato tonight with cheese and beans and some tomatoes on the side to try and make it up for a little bit of slimmer of tea. So I'll to enjoy my tea. Back in my sewing room again. This is what we do on Saturday nights. We sew. <laughs> so I've made another little chicken. I made a little check one. So I'll be putting that on my Depop shop tomorrow when I can get some better photos in the daylight. Oh, next hand done. So we've got a little red spot one this time. Oh, so cute. Handmade with love ribbon on the top. Right, it is. Final little vlog of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Share my little day in England. I'm just looking at my little pug in the background. <laughs> so thanks for joining me i hope you enjoyed it i've done a lot of sewing tidying up a bit of shopping a bit of everything really so thanks for being there so if you do enjoy life in england daily vlogs handbags shopping and whatever else we get up to then please subscribe to my channel and come find me on instagram oh what well, get my words out on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady and my depop shop my username is pinkcar07 so i love you leave you speak to you tomorrow bye